everyone. Today I'm here to do an unboxing of a couple of Speckled Fawns Traveler's Notebooks. So this one I ordered directly from the Speckled Fawns website and that was probably over a month ago. Um, when you order them not ready to ship, they do take a little while. Uh, so I actually cannot remember what colors I ordered in here. This is gonna be a happy bee in a B6 Slim. So I'm excited to see that. And then this one I bought off of a buy sell trade group and it just happened to come at the sa on the same day. So I figured I would open them at the same time. I'm not doing the traditional unboxing. I think this is the last time that I'll probably say this on the channel, at least for the time being, I am just taking the packaging out of the box, putting the box away and then washing my hands really thoroughly and then coming back to these just in their little paper wrappings. So I'm gonna start with the one that I ordered directly from Speckled Fawns and then we'll open this one and that can be a little bit of a, of a surprise as to what that one is. So let's go ahead and open this one. Although this will be a surprise too because like I said, it is a happy bee and those are all, they all look very different. And actually pretty much anytime you order from Speckled Fawns, they're gonna look different. Oh, okay. Okay, because I couldn't remember if I had um, if I had ordered the blue and the red like like I was originally thinking. This was my first color choice, and then I was also thinking, oh, and maybe instead of the red or the blue, I would order a gray. But it looks like I did indeed go forward with the red and blue, and um, this is a Dublin cognac here as the base. This is a Kodiak, a blue Kodiak, and then this is a red Kodiak. And these tend to be a little bit oilier. And I did get the reinforced spine on this one. So it's interesting that the reinforced spine is just on the base leather. And then I ordered the swirly, the swirly stitching. And I got it in yellow because I thought, well, since it's a happy bee, there should be some sort of yellow. <laughs> Okay, and then on the inside here, this is very soft for a Dublin cognac. I'm, I'm really surprised at how soft that is actually, because normally it's a little stiffer than this. Like it's more as stiff as what I would expect here in this pen loop, but it's really pretty. And so we have this folio style pocket here. Um, I got the one inch, so it has four bands and then there's another folio style pocket here and then two card slots and then the pen loop which I ordered and again Speckle Fonts does the the pen loops that go in and and one thing that's kind of interesting is their pen loops tend to be really really big um, on the whole <laughs> sometimes they can be a little smaller and I mean I guess that's good because because I would prefer bigger rather than too small for my pens but sometimes it just kind of Here's, here's a thinner, oops, here's a thinner fountain pen. This is a um, Lamy logo, and it's one of the thinner Lamy's. And I mean, there's like this whole bit left. I could probably fit a whole other pen in there, which is what I've done in the past, is put another pen in the loop. Okay, well that's very pretty. Let's see how it lays. Okay, because I was curious about that as to whether it would rise up in the back. That doesn't really seem to be doing that. It seems to be holding together pretty well. Lovely. I really like how this red goes with this brown and how the blue is just sort of this little accent peeking out. Excellent. I probably will not use this for my everyday carry because I find that um, Speckled Fawns runs a little bit narrower and actually a little bit taller than um, Chic Sparrow's B6 Slim, which is usually what I'm using, either Chic Sparrow and, and now a uh, Lady Falcon Traveler's JIS, B6 JIS. So, um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna use this for yet, but I definitely wanted to get a, um, a happy bee before they went away because they're not always available. But I'm sure it'll become available again at some point. So I'm gonna put that off to the side on the paper there. And then, so this one is a wallet type pen. 
Okay. And so this is made out of the Chatelaine leather. And like I said, this is from the Buy Sell Trade Group. This is an A6 size. Um, I have several Chatelaine leather notebooks and it's actually really nice. Although you can see it, it ends up being pretty rustic with the, um, the finish. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, sometimes I think it's kind of cool, but sometimes I also think, eh, it just kind of looks like, you know, you, you didn't rub it in the right way or something, but, but I'm okay with these. These look pretty good. And I'll show you the inside, what makes this a wallet. So on the front here, there's a pocket. This is really thin and light leather, which really makes it easy to carry around. I mean, this is super light. Okay, so then here we have a couple of upright pockets. This one only goes down about that, that far here. And then this one goes down to the bottom. And it's kind of cool. It's got this little piece here that's just off to the side. And then there's another folio style pocket here, another folio style pocket here. And then there's these card slots that are true card slots. They go down as far as a card slot. And then here there is a zipper. So this is meant to be used as a wallet. And this is a good size. I, and then there's another card slot here or a slot for money or whatever there. This is a good size for a wallet. Um, Speckled Fawns, their, their sizing is a little different. <laughs> I generally use Chic Sparrow as sort of the, the base, the basis for you know what I'm comparing other brands to because that's what I buy the most of. So for an A6, this is actually probably a little bit wider than your typical A6. I think the height is about the same, but um, it's probably a little bit wider. I really wish they made these in a field note size because that to me would be better for a wallet because this is a little square to carry around as a wallet. So I'll see. I was thinking of using it as a wallet, but I don't know if I'll do that. We'll have to see. And in a separate video, I will show you some of my other speckled fonts. Um, I, I have a different size of this one that I got directly from Speckled Fonts that I absolutely love. They did a fabulous job on the finish on mine. Um, so I'll, I'll show that to you at some point later. But for now, that's it. We've got, sorry for the crinkling, the tissue paper off to the side there. So here's my Happy Bee. And then here is my A6 Chatelaine wallet. All right, that's it for today. Feel free to like and or subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.